These last few years might be the worst era of Barcelona ever, but there's one key factor that may have caused it and can maybe even fix it. After Messi left in 2021, things never felt the same, so what if he never did? I reunited the 2021 Barcelona squad and trapped Messi there for the rest of his career. But there's a twist. If Messi and Barcelona don't win at least one La Liga, one domestic cup and one Champions League, then Messi has to make an insane move as punishment. And here is the 2021 Barcelona team reunited again three years later. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie it's uh it's not looking too great so far so without wasting any more time let's go right on to making this club fit for a goat the wonder kid center back antonio silva from benfica has joined barcelona for 45 million to be honest that's probably 90 percent of their transfer budget for this season and now coming in from the great blue cheats of Manchester is another signing in defense. It's Nathan Ake. Costing only £27 million as well. The Manchester cheats clearly don't need any more money. We definitely do. But that's a bargain for a very, very solid player. And again, some more smart business from Barcelona. I know we don't hear that a lot. Adrian Rabio is joining Barcelona from Juventus. The midfielder had one year left on his contract, so we got him for only £31 million. <laughs> So it does look fairly solid, but the main problem I think is that a lot of these players are getting older. And in real life, obviously, they've already moved on to their retirement homes. Maybe not completely worthy of a GOAT just yet, but we'll see how they can do this season with the hype and the leadership of Lionel Messi with them. Finally, it is now the end of the season. And after Barcelona had an insane comeback in the Champions League against Real Madrid to reach the final, unfortunately, they just couldn't put out the same performance against Bayern Munich. And they've given Harry Kane his first ever trophy but with the rest of the season they did get second in La Liga and did win the Supercopa and after all of this Lionel Messi have 32 goals and 7 assists throughout the entire season maybe not the sort of assists you'd be expecting Messi to get but still an insane season but Antoine Griezmann with only 14 goals and 5 assists for the whole season he's gone down 3 ratings but it is definitely looking promising that this team could maybe finally move up to the standards of having a goat on their side <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm not even saying anything about this one. And now the squad clear out is complete. As you can see, a big name is leaving the club already. Antoine Griezmann is out of here. It's time to go! He kind of flopped in Barca here just as he did in real life. I'm not sure how we pulled this off, but we somehow sold him to Juventus for £85 million. And trust me, Barcelona absolutely need big cash injections like that one. And now to start off the rebuild in season two, a big signing has been brought in. The replacement for Antoine Griezmann will be Manchester City's Julian Alvarez. Now, I'm not going to lie, it was a bit of an expensive one coming in at £80 million, but he is an absolutely solid player with a lot of potential and the perfect player to work with Messi. I feel like I'm just farming this club for their players, but to be honest, they're probably all going to want to be escaping a team that's going to get demoted down to League 2 pretty soon. So we've managed to bring in Josco Guardiol from Manchester City for £70 million. Pounds. All right, lads, this is where it starts to get really interesting now. Kevin De Bruyne is signing for Barcelona. I am absolutely just farming Manchester City players, but they're treble winners. Can you really blame me? These are the types of people we need in our squad with Lionel Messi. Because he only had one year left on his contract, we got him for only 57 million, which is a complete robbery. The rebuild is now fully completed and we can see the new Barcelona lineup here now and it is absolutely insane. A lot of players had left on freeze, a lot of the old players just didn't want to play anymore, I guess. Busquets is still here with us. He, he now has 27 pace. How is it even possible to run that slow? I actually want to see this in action. All right, so this is very last minute and unplanned, but we have brought in a new signing because without my knowledge, Arejo just left. I think somebody paid his release clause and he didn't want to stay anymore, so he just left. But we have brought in Van der Ven from Spurs to replace him for 50 million. I'm just copying Pep, mate. <laughs> EA's got to be trolling. EA has to be trolling me. It's going to be an El Clasico in the Champions League final. This will be an insane one to watch for the viewers. And a torturous one for me to play through here, I imagine. De Bruyne, he's got space here now. He's going to try and whip it in for Dembele, but it goes over his head. To be honest, Dembele's probably the one guy holding this squad down. That's a lovely pass through Dake. And Dembele is open in the box. He's going to try and hit one and he's flown past in the game. Dembele, do you actually know how to play football, mate? Have you ever played this sport before this match? 
Lovely pass through to Dembele there. Dembele's gonna keep cutting through and smash it into the bottom corner. I take it all back, Usman Dembele. He's put Barcelona in the lead. Now it's back with Messi. He's gonna turn and slot it through to De Bruyne, who can run wide here. Now's his chance to smash it near post. Kevin De Bruyne makes it 2-0. And it's all over. Barcelona have won the Champions League in an El Clasico against Real Madrid. It does not get any better than that for Lionel Messi. If only this club wasn't broke as hell and could have afforded to keep him. Here comes Messi to lift the trophy. Here he goes. Yeah. And now that the season is finally over, we can see that they actually did do a treble here. Supercopa, Copa de España and Champions League. It's a bit of a poor man's treble, but a treble is a treble. They did only get second in La Liga again, and this time it was only by one point behind Real Madrid. That's completely heartbreaking. And wow, what a signing Julian Alvarez turned out to be throughout the whole season. 30 goals and 7 assists. Unsurprisingly though, of course, Kevin De Bruyne was an insane signing with 27 goals and 19 assists. And Pedri has truly become one of the greatest of all time now. 22 goals and 20 assists. That's just crazy. Weirdly, Messi only got three goals and three assists throughout the entire season. Two of those assists came in the Champions League final. I guess it is his time to retire now, but at least he went off with a bang. If you've made it to the end, then you're a legend, and I've picked out the perfect video for you here that I know you'll love. But before you leave, it's time to get into what I promised here at the start of the video. Since Barcelona could not achieve the goals of the trophies I set, they didn't win a single La Liga. There is consequences to pay. Lionel Messi joins Real Madrid. Oh god, this looks so wrong. Why have they given him the number 9 as well? They didn't even give him 10. There, feast on that. I hope you're happy.